Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you for joining me. So today is a B&M haul. I can't remember the last time I went into anywhere like this. Um, and I needed, I have started back at Slim World doing their Zoom, is it Zoom? Yeah, Zoom online kind of clap, what? Clap? Platform is what I was going to say. Um, because I've gained loads of weight and because I was poorly before my cat is playing with a piece of Lego I was poorly before lockdown and I don't think I went back so in eight weeks I maybe a little bit longer than eight weeks I've gained a stone in weight um so it needed to happen so I bit the bullet and thought I'm going back so B&M is where I normally get all my goodies kind of like sweet treat kind of things that I get um, and stuff from there so I thought why not I didn't have Alfie and um, so yeah I went there and then I went to Aldi so there is two bits in here from Aldi um, actually one's from Iceland next door to Aldi and it's in there for pop but I walked past this and couldn't say no I'm looking for the other thing from Aldi so this is what I picked up in I've got my ring light on because of it's dark so I picked up um, a big pink grapefruit. This is like the perfect kind of um, scent for me in that like this kind of spring, summery spring kind of time that I love and I've not got any so I bought some. The two things I picked up from Aldi are their pink clay face scrub. Um, this is probably about my fourth tube of this. I absolutely love it. It's, oh, they've got a different, it's got a different packaging. Normally it's the colour on the box. Um, I find that it's got enough scrub. I like quite a decent scrub on mine and I think this one works really well. And then I picked this up. Um, the picture I think she's got a strip lash on. Um, the bottom picture. But I thought my mascara is running out so I thought why not try it. I think it was like 2 dollars um, and obviously can't get to like boots or anywhere like that. Well I could but I wasn't. So what oh it's a pretty little bottle though. Um it's called Too Legit. This reminds me of some another brand. Um oh obviously they're all sealed so you can't open it. It's got like a little multi-way end bristles on the end so you can get all like the inner corner and stuff. Um it is like a, a silicone type brush but it looks really nice, it's quite flexible. I shall let you know how I find that. So things from, the majority of things I went in for was cleaning stuff treats. So I picked up these. These are new or however long they've been there. I don't know because I can't remember the last time I went in B&M. So these are glass and tile buddies. So they're like a minky but they've got a microfiber on one and then like, um, what's that, like chamois material? And I hate cleaning mirrors, so I always pick up something that helps or something new to try. These were £2 for two, so I didn't think they were too bad. And if not, they will become um, bathrooms for like the tile and stuff in the bath. That's what I'll use them for if I don't like them, particularly on like glass and mirrors. I went and picked up some of this. I had this one in the pomegranate scent. I was going to say flavour then, but it's not flavour. In the pomegranate scent. Um, but I'm liking like really, I really did like that one as well, but clean linen kind of scents at the moment, just doing it for me. And normally that's not like my biggest favourite, biggest favourite, my kind of favourite. So I picked one of these up because these are, that'll at the moment, that'll like multi-surface spray is really hard to find. So I picked one of those up. What else have we got in here cleaning wise? Um, I hate, it's malt season for my cats. Um, and I often will hoover everywhere, so mantelpieces, window ledges, things like that, because they're just full of cat hair, and I'm, I normally wet dust, but at the moment I just feel like I'm smearing them around, so because I do like Minky's glass cloth, um, I thought I'd try this one, um, this is their, I've opened it up without even showing you, it's pink as well, it's um, their high tech dusters, this is incredibly soft. It's fluffier than a normal microfiber, so I'm really hoping that it... I don't know if you, you can. It's so, so fluffy that I'm hoping this will 
kind of trap the hairs in it but we shall see I don't know if like so this says it can be used without chemicals up to seven times more cleaning power than other microfiber cloths so we shall see we'll see how I fare with that one I picked up the cats some little treats I got them um, I've already had it out of the packet it's a little uh, laser so the cats absolutely love this and this actually gets mummy cat playing and she's not a massive player but bring one of these out and she absolutely loves it I also picked up for them some more catnip um, I normally have a ziplock bag and I'll add this to the bag and then like all their toys in it because of it just makes them play with their toys more so I'd run out so I bought some of that oh I've left the other one downstairs so Fabulosa have brought out um, some new scents in their foam freshener which is this one but they've also brought out um, a disinfectant spray like a Dettol spray um, so I got both of them in this Electrify it's kind of it's, it's I never picked this one up and smelt it in like the bottles of uh, Fabulosa until it must have been just before lockdown after I was pulling just before we went into lockdown um, and I really did like it so I picked both of those up today and I've used the disinfectant already downstairs because it can be sprayed on like same with Dettol on like um, sofas and things like that as well as hard surfaces. I picked up some new plugins because mine had long, long went out. Um, and I really do like B&M's um, plugins. You, normally in a packet you'll get one of these and the plug. And I either go between this sparkling berry or the vanilla scent. And I've picked up the sparkling berry. Uh, what else have we got in here? I think the rest of it is food. <laughs> yeah, it is. So... I picked up um, some, I normally use, well I do use Aldi's version of Fry Light, but I do like this one which is their garlic one, um, I think this is really good on wedges and things like that, and I also picked up, now this is probably normally Sins, but sometimes my hands really just don't want to crush garlic in the crusher and stuff, so this is kind of for those kind of occasions, this is just garlic puree. Um, I think because these have tend to have oil in them, although it's 65% raw garlic, so the oil in it isn't that much, but I picked up, I need to look the sins up of these, but I do know that I've got other packets of these, and when you split them between like the four portions, they aren't normally masses of sins, and sometimes they're really handy just to have in, and it's quick and easy. And also the same for these. I've not had one of these in ages. The Maggie's Simple and Satisfying um, Jody Chicken in a Bag thing. Chicken in the Bag thing. This is garlic, paprika and parsley flavour. I actually normally sometimes just do these. I don't add the chicken to this. I just do like roasted vegetables in these. And I find them really, really tasty. Um, right. So the rest of it is treat stuff. <laughs> Because obviously there is no nothing in like this in the house so I've got like a really good selection so I've picked up two different fiber ones I've picked up their chocolate fudge brownies these are four and a half sins I think or four I picked up their triple chocolate cake bars these are four and a half yeah they might both be four and a half but they're really good because they've got quite a lot of fiber in them compared to just like chocolate of that's of the same sin value if that makes sense I picked up two packets of these now I like these when I'm not dieting these are the skinny whips they do them in quite a few different flavors so I've picked up here the double chocolate ones so it's like a nugget so a nugget a nugget filling with chocolate on the outside and little pieces inside and because you've got to actually properly chew this it tends to last and feels more satisfying and I really do, if you like mint, and especially like after eight mints, you will love these. This is their mint and dark chocolate one. Mm, 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 mm. And these are five sins each. 
What else have I got? I picked up some Alpen lights just as a B option as in case I'm going out and I need to like although where am I going out to? I have no idea. Because my thinking behind these were if um like to throw in my bag as breakfast and stuff, but I'm not going anywhere. They'll sit in the cupboard until I need them. <laughs> now these are for both me and the kids, um, but they are actually quite good for sin value wise. So these are the crispy, rice crispy squares. If you like these, then you'll be happy to know they're not bad sin wise either. The the chocolate ones are five and a half. Bargain. Um, and I've not tried these ones. These are the unicorn creation ones. Um, so these are. Yeah. Mm, see, these may be classed as six, but they are slightly under, so they're probably five and a half. They're probably the same sin value on each of them. And last but not least, that is in my bag are these. Again, the boys will eat these as well. I find any type of like mini packets of biscuits are better for me doing summer well because I'm less likely to eat the whole packet or whatever, however many, rather than a weighed bagged quantity. Um, these are four and a half sins, so again, a really good treat for you could have two or three packets of these if you had sins on nothing else, so you can still feel like you're having way too many than you should do. So that is everything in my bag. Um, I don't think I, I took anything else out of it, just the disinfectant spray. Yeah, I think that is right. So, thank you for watching. Actually, just before I disappear, I do want to say there is a B&M um, like come shop with me, come in. And I do say at the start of this that video as well, I will not tolerate crappy comments underneath it. I was going there anyway, and while I was there, on my own, I had my camera with me, so I decided to film. So, thank you for watching. I shall see you all really, really soon in my next video. Goodbye!